and let's have a bit of a look at these moving lights because uh, we're going to want to control those. So just like every other light, I can select them and take them to full. And you can see out in our uh, auditorium here, there are two lights have come to full and immediately on my trackball I have control of those two lights because I've selected them. Now, um, the, this console does that by default. Whatever you have selected goes under the control of the trackball. But on the screen here, you can see um, as soon as I've selected a moving light, all of my soft keys have changed. Now, um, what we'll do is we'll concentrate on the soft keys that start at uh, 5 and go through to 9. So S5 through to S9. They say position, colour, gobo, lens and special. This is where all of the functions of that moving light are located. So everything to do with position is under S5. So if you hit S5, you can see on the screen that these larger colour bubbles here have changed to show me the parameters that are underneath position. And the middle two parameters here, pan and tilt, they're all very familiar. So uh, if you had a console that didn't have these encoders and trackballs and things like that, have a look at the hardware here. Um, here's S1234. What I can do is actually use the S2, like a shift key, and then pan something around. So you can see on the stage that just by doing that and rolling this up and down, I've got pan control. Likewise, if I change my position on the hardware here to S3 and then pan and then use the, tra the wheel up and down, I've got tilt control. So what that does is it allows you to have basic moving light control very, very easily without um, actually having the direct encoders. That are obviously easier again, but um, for, for those of you that have the more basic console and don't have the budget to get the really big one, you can actually still use moving lights quite effectively. Of course, uh, on the screen itself, you have a bit of a look. You can see I've ended up in a position where um, I'm at pan one degree and tilt minus 69. Now, I'm getting real world values out of this. I'm not getting um, strange numbers that don't actually mean anything to me that are just DMX values. I can actually type pan, so I've just hit S2 and you can see on the command line it says there 101 through 102 pan. It's waiting for me to type something else. So what happens if I go pan 45, enter. Yes, on the, uh, down there on the stage you can see that the two lights have panned to 45 degrees from their position. And just keep looking at the stage, what I'll do is I'll go tilt, zero, enter. Look at that. Tilt, 45, enter.